Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful Friday night. Um, lots going on. There's a BSU game tonight, go Broncos. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited to watch some football, um, even if I can't be there in person. And then I'm also going to have on this lovely lady is going to share with you um, a crop night, which is something where she'll start with a blank page and take you from start to finish all the way to the end, which is pretty awesome. Linda is very talented and she will be here with Lee, I believe is in the background. <laughs> um, and so this is going to be an awesome night. Everybody say hi, let us know you're watching and I am going to turn it over to Linda. I'm trying to find you yet, though. I'm still not there, Amy. Let me try to tag you. Okay. That maybe that'll show up in your. <laughs> uh, there. Oh, we got you. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Have fun tonight and keep creating, guys. <laughs> okay. I see you. So when you go away, there it is. Yay! Awesome. Hello, everyone. You don't need to oh, I see you. I had the page, but then it went away. You are so pretty, Amy. There we go. Thank you, girl. Okay. All right. Well, I see Carrie's on there and Sharon and Patricia. Oh, from Northwest Iowa. Hello. And let's see. My hubby's over here. He's going to do the scrolling. Whoop, oh, whoop. We lost the feed there. Oh, there we're back again. And you can scroll up, honey, Kim and Barbara and Angela. Okay, then scroll the other way. Let's see who else we got on tonight. Keep going down. Anna, I said hello to Carrie. Keep going. And Joni and Darlene and Lisa from Pennsylvania, Michigan. Hope you guys are getting, oh, and Valerie. Hope you guys are getting some of this good weather that we are. We hit like 75 degrees today. Oh my gosh, it's been wonderful. So, and from Ohio, oh, there's Kim and Misty. Oh golly, guys, hello and Bridget. Are you guys all ready to crop and have some fun tonight? Well, I found this beautiful paper and um, Lee and I, we went to Texas for a couple of weeks and we had the most wonderful time. The temperatures were in the upper 70s, low 80s. And we just went out for some R&R &R and met up with some of our best friends out there. And uh, as you guys, some of you know, we have a boxer, Bella. Well, these friends are the ones that we got our boxer from. So we hold a very special place in our heart for them. Misty and Jody Shrum. And they also motor home too. So we parked a motor home side by side and we just glamped for <laughs> over a week out there. And um, so they're down around New Braunfels, Texas on the Guadalupe River is where they're at. And um, it, there was no bugs. It was amazing. I don't usually sit outside, but it was fabulous. Hey, there's Wendy and Lisa from Phoenix. So, but anyway, um, they had a Hobby Lobby down there. And uh, Misty, she scrapbooks too. But I was walking through there and this paper stuck out to me and I don't know why. I just walked by it. I'm like, I gotta have that paper. And so I was walking through and I said, like, okay, I gotta have something that matches it. So I just wanna show you some of this paper that I found that went with it that I'm gonna be using tonight. So I found, of course, a paper like this to go with it. And I picked up. Show it's got a pattern on there. It's got, yeah, it's got little blue and little black polka dots. I don't know if you can see that. And then I found this one. And I'm just randomly just picking up things I like. Okay. So this is a little lighter blue and it's got some like uh, floored Lee in it. And then I, I'm walking through and I found this one. Uh, it's kind of like a burlap, but it's, it's paper. And it's got little writing on it. So I found this one. So we're gonna do this. And then Miss Penrod said she loves that. Well, good. And then I got this one. That one makes you dizzy. <laughs> Lisa, that one makes you dizzy. Okay, so I had these and I come home with them from Texas. Now I don't normally shop Hobby Lobby paper. I'm 
I'm true to my scrapbook store and I usually just buy from her, but there was no scrapbook store. It was a Hobby Lobby. So that's where I went. But you know what, girls? Like I said, I started with this one and I'm like, I got to have some paper. But when I came back home, I didn't like any of them for my base. So I did go to my scrapbook store and I found this. I don't know if you're familiar with the, um, I think it's Echo Park by the sea paper. And that's what this was on the back side. I think it's double sided. Yeah, that's, this is what was on the back of it. But I just fell in love. She has a wood section. And so I, I picked this up and this is gonna be my background paper. So you guys like this paper tonight? And then- Gail says she wants to try glamping. Oh, glamping is fabulous. And then we're gonna use an actual burlap paper tonight, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. Karina we're using loves paper. those papers. Awesome! So where I'm going with this- New Jersey. So where I'm going with this, guys, if you are just walking by and you find a piece of paper, just one paper that sticks out, don't be afraid to grab it. And then just start walking down the aisle and pick up things that you think might go with it. Who would think that a stripe would go with it or a burlap piece of paper or burlap? I mean, and wood, just start mixing and matching. You'd be surprised. Cynthia loves using the wood backgrounds. Uh, yeah, exactly, right? Shelly Ryan says she loves your choices. So anyway, we are going to use tonight, <coughs> excuse me. And no, I don't have the Corona. <coughs> it's called Iowa Allergies. So we are going to use Madison Avenue. Why, thank you, Lisa. She loves that your husband <laughs> talked about. Oh, he always helps. Yeah, so He's a good helper. You just don't want to forget that, right? <laughs> nope. I'm not going to forget it. Um, and we're going to use, in fact, I made my own little sketch tonight. You, I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold it up closer. Get it up there. Get it up can there. Okay. It. Yeah. Can you see it? Right. It'll take a little bit. For we me. are going to use Madison Avenue, Cascade Trails. We're going to use... Uh, some templates from the November Kit Club of 2019, Life is Golden. And we're going to use All Things Beautiful from the April 2019 kit. And then we're going to use, um, I know this is, is uh, one that everybody wanted. Embrace the Moments from 2018, the September one. And then we're going to use, I think I'm going to use it. I haven't, this one I didn't get laid out yet, but I'm going to use the a la carte, the deer. Okay. So that's what we're going to use for templates tonight. And of course the photo ones, but we're going to use Madison Avenue. What paper pack is that Cindy would like to know? It's not a paper pack. It is, this is from by the sea. It's uh, uh, two sheets of the paper, the wood grain, and it has the plaid from By the Sea. And then I just went to Hobby Lobby. And um, if you missed it, I went and found this sheet just by walking down the aisle. And I, I, I picked it up. I loved it. And I just started mixing and matching some of the papers that were down the aisle. So what, I'm, what I was telling you is you just pick up a piece of paper that you like and start matching it. So we are going to use Madison 3B and 3A. Which is a little different than what you do a lot of times. Yeah, normally Sometimes I do. Sometimes you buy the whole pack or I've yep. seen order it online. Yep. So we're going to use Madison Avenue 3A, 3B, 1A, and 1B. Okay, and let me state a question. Well, when you're all done with the layout, you kind of put out there, don't you, kind of a quick overview of what templates you used and all that? Yes, sort of it'll, all, it'll all be out there uh, when I'm completely done. I always list out what I use. So, okay. So what I did, and, and this might be out of the norm, but I'm going to turn it upside down so the writing's down. Laura Ruka says hi. Hi, Laura. Gwendolyn Jackson. Hey, Gwendolyn. Says, Okay, so this is 1A, and the reason I'm turning it like this, some of the templates, okay, if you've never used Kiwi Lane before, they go together like Debbie this, from okay? Florida says hi. Hello, Debbie. But what we're gonna do 
is we're going to flip them because I want them to match end for end. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. See, they match like this. You can get a good seam. So I'm going to turn them so they match because I want the. It's almost seamless from one yes. page to the next. Yes. It's seamless if you turn them this way. Okay. Make sure I got the papers right away. I'm going to put just a little bit apart so I can see and so you can see how we're doing this. You guys see that? They will go end to end, some of them do, so that you get that perfect seam. See that? So I'm doing it just a little different. Okay, so now I've got 3B, Madison Avenue 3B. And I'm gonna turn it like this. So this one I am doing right side up. But it's seamless along the horizontal. Yes, I'm gonna do 3A like this. So I've got a hump up this way and a hump down that way, okay? So I'm kind of breaking the rules of how a lot of a lot of um, the way they teach you in Kiwi Lane is you do it so that it uh, mates up when you go to trace it. But you always don't have to do it that way. You can do it however you want. That's why it's fun to play when you create. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Cascade Trails, and I'm going to use 1A and 1B and 2B and 2A. Gotta find it. Okay. Which one's this again? Cascade Trails. All right. So now 2A, I'm going to put right here. So it matches the same hump. And this one I'm going to turn upside down and backwards so it matches that hump. Can you guys see that okay? All right. Now I'm going to take these. These are fun, 1A and 1B. They really mimic one another. Helen says hi. Hi. Hello. And I'm going to, okay, I don't know if you've seen what I did. Okay, so they look like this. Debbie yeah, said she loves this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put them like that. Do you guys see that? It almost looks like a ribbon. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay it right there. Linda says hi. Yeah, Linda. Hello. All right, do you guys see that? So I kind of made a long border, just kind of broke it up a little bit. And I'm going to show you why I did this. Shari Van Drill, Drill says everybody wants to break the rules. And it's so cool. <laughs> I'm it a rule okay. breaker. Hey guys, with all this been going on, like I said, if you guys saw my post, it's been a stressful time for everybody this year. I know a lot of people. So let your hair down. If you had hair, which I don't. <laughs> I tell you what, tonight when I invited you, when I said, I wanted a stress-free night. I wanted to break my own rules. I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to just forget about what was going outside these walls and just have a good time with y'all tonight. That sound like a fun thing? So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Janice Good said, that's cool, Linda. <laughs> All right. said, hello from Florida. Hey, hey. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going Going to take okay this is from embrace the moments that september monthly kit of 2018 that wonderful little mason jar that we all love so much is that a mason jar or a moonshine jar we can call it however you want i guess for me it's well i don't think we drank that night did we I think I had iced tea, sweet tea. Yeah, you could drink iced tea. Out of the <laughs> of too. He, he's going to be in one of them moods, girls. He's in one of them moods. Hey, by the way, our son came home uh, two o'clock this morning from North Dakota. He drove all night long, all morning. What do you want to call it? He come back so he could go deer hunting. He's off. He's off in the woods right now. He's bow and arrow trying to find him a deer. And uh, so I'm hoping him beef be a lot cheaper what this deer will cost. <laughs> Or hamburger or a good veggie. Oh, but anyway, so I got up this morning and made them all scrambled eggs and toast, and I pulled out a jar of peach moonshine jelly. 
for him. We got down in uh, down in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and he didn't even eat any. I'm like, seriously, you love peach jelly and you love moonshine. He didn't even try it. Seriously. I'm just a butter guy. <laughs> he just likes lots of butter on his toast. But anyway, so I don't know how we got off of them. Anyway, so here's what we got. You pulled out the bottle. I did. <laughs> I did here. not pull out the bottle. I didn't go down in the basement. I don't even know if we got any moonshine left. Usually we have to bring back a bottle of the Blackberry stuff for our son. He loves Blackberry, but I haven't seen him since we went out. There was been August, September. 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 Yeah, it was so nice to see him. So anyway, so I'm going to put this little mason jar right down here. And then this is out of the April All Things Beautiful 2019. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what these little pieces are, some of you might know, um, this is washi tape. And I put this on my templates. So if I'm scrapping with anybody, these, they'll know that, hey, those are Linda's templates. So that's what those are, those identify them. So I'm gonna put this little bitty sprig. I'm gonna put that there, okay, just to kind of, Give it a little something, something. How do you tell which way is the right side is up? That's what I want to, I do, that's just the way I designed it. It's no, my the leaves, how do you know on the template? He's being really stinky tonight. You know that, guys? He's being real stinky. Well, inquiry minds want to know. Uh, okay, here we go. So now I'm pulling out. The Life is Golden November 2019 monthly kit. And I'm going to take out. I, she says, hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah. You guys want to take him off my hands for a little while? <laughs> He's being. I'm not cheap. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay. So I've got this a la carte treasure. This is my journaling one. And I'm going to stick it over here. Betsy asked about our trip to Texas. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, on the that's what we're so doing. It was great. Oh my gosh, Had it was wonderful, 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 wonderful. In fact, I hope she's going to be able to come on. I told her we we're going to be live tonight, but she don't know I'm doing our pictures. You should text him. Let him know. Okay. So surprises are better sometimes. Mm, yeah. Okay. So this is Bonnie. Lisa says, "Bring the moonshine," but we'll never finish if you do. <laughs> it's jelly. It's peach moonshine jelly. It's really good. When you open it up, it does smell like moonshine, but it don't taste like moonshine. Okay, so this little thing is Bonnie Tutti, Bonnie Six, the little flower. And then I'm going to take this other one that's inside, Bonnie Five T, and we're going to pop it up right there. Okay, you guys with me so far? Now, this is the one I'm not sure. I'm on, I want to use it but I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna, okay? This is that dear a la carte and I'll tell you why. Okay, so how many of you, when you go out and eat with friends, take pictures of your food? We take pictures of our food. No, oh, correction, Linda takes pictures of our food because I'm busy eating. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, we went to this place, it was, we ate so much good food while we were there. It was, I mean, it was, we wake up in the morning and it's like, we got to eat again today. Oh yeah. We gotta eat it. it was so good. We went to this one place. It was, they had the best hamburgers. What was it called? Beginning with the G. Goop, goobies, goopers. I saved the receipt. Something like that. It goofies. was goofies, goofies burger, OMG. It was the best hamburger I've ever eaten. And I've eaten a lot of hamburgers, but this was awesome. And then we want, they want us to stick around for the entertainment. Well, Lee wanted to stick around for the entertainment, but he's laughing already. I gotta, oh, wait I a gotta minute. be politically correct. Hold on. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. So the entertainment, okay. We, we are very cautious on, on everything that we do, okay? Because we do not want to offend anyone. Very cautious on what we do. So we read the sign and we both looked at each other and said, we cannot repeat this to a living soul. And I said, I cannot take pictures of the sign. I cannot scrapbook this. We cannot repeat this at all. And he goes, I'm going to stay and I'm going to watch this. And we're going to take pictures. This is a this is a once in a lifetime thing. I said, no. Tourist. 
we cannot do this. But anyway, so we're sitting there eating our burgers and the entertainment comes walking out and Lee goes, I'm staying. You can have him tell you what the entertainment was. It was midget mud wrestling <laughs> out back. And uh, I wanted to stay, but they were Oh, let me. my goodness. I said, I can't. I they were some can't. of the nicest people. Oh, today. my gosh. It was, it was filling up. It, for, oh, it was. And I'm like, how could they do that? I mean, that's offensive. I mean, how could they advertise like that? But they didn't seem to mind at all. They were just, and they were taking this so serious. And, and this is kind of on the banks of the Guadalupe River. Yeah. And I mean, this place called Goofy's, and they were advertising midget mud wrestling. <laughs> and I'm like, I cannot scrap with this. This is not good. <laughs> not and, and we did. We went on. We had other things to do that night anyway. But we had a really, really good time. Yeah. Nikki says her food don't last long enough to take a picture. That's where I'm at. So Linda has to stop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Well, they can't eat until we pray and I take pictures. That's the whole thing. So anyway, okay, so we went to this place called Richter's Antler Cafe. So there's the place. In north of uh, 15 miles north of San Antonio. So there's Lee and I. That's us. Yeah, the guy with and, the hair. And this is our friends, Misty and Jody Shrum. I can't remember what his shirt say. I was taught to think, I don't know, he had the cool, he's retired. And he has the coolest shirts because... They, they say funny stuff all the time. It was hilarious. What's this? Usually just to antagonize my husband if he wasn't able to join us. What? Usually just to antagonize my husband if he wasn't able to join us. <laughs> you should go get him. <laughs> so anyway, talking about food, I got to tell you one more thing. So Jody, Misty wanted a bite of his macaroni and cheese. Uh, it, and he gave her, he started growling at her. It was funny. I really want to use this picture, but I don't know if I have room or not. So, because we take pictures of our food. This place had Texas, Texas chicken fried steak. That's what it was. The best chicken They're fried steak. They're voted number one in Texas, yep. they said. And, of course, every place you go says that. But it was mighty fine. Yeah. So, that's Lee's. He got lima beans. I hate lima beans. And that one was mine. So, we got to use this. But I, I'm not sure. I got to get your opinion. Do I fussy cut around it? Or do I put it on like it is? I don't know. I don't know. Or I just put one on. I don't know. Had no idea. I need your opinion. No, I got to no put the on. food on because the food was amazing and you can't see it there. So the other thing <coughs> I was going to tell you, in scrapbooking, pictures are wonderful. Journaling is wonderful. Do you guys ever do your receipts? I do them every once in a while because um, <coughs> years go by, prices change. And this says a lot about what you have to, what money is through the years and how expensive things are and how not they are. So when I put this on here, I really wanted this to be kind of a focal point. And so that's why I put those there. Well, what that and really, that's going to be there. The receipt is nice. So when you get older <laughs> and you can't remember much on it, you'll know when you were there. Yeah. You'll know where you were. <laughs> and exactly. sometimes that can be pretty neat, you know, to know. So that's why I got this deer because it's called Richter's Antler Cafe. So I'm thinking this little bud. I do have a few comments though. Trisha said just one food photo since it's the same meal. Yeah. And I think that's, that's really smart and probably just cut part of it. We really don't need all of it probably. And yeah. Sherry suggests doing a fussy cut. Hmm. Well, what do you think about that? This disease could be a fuzzy cut. And if I was cutting, that's what it would be. But Well, I think I kind of uh, like that. Kim and Jeff said you need the plate with the blue on it to match your husband's shirt. And yeah, actually, but it's got lima beans. I do not like. <laughs> yeah, but that blue shirt. What's amazing is you got the oh. picture before I had gravy on it because I always get all over myself. Yeah. Okay, so Leslie says she lives in San Antonio, and it looks like Richter's is about thirty minutes away. We'll have to try it, and it was good. Oh, it's amazing! Um, amazing. Linda and I got one meal, and we we split the. Because you get two chicken fried steaks, and I think it was like 
11 bucks or something. I mean, it was cheap. Oh, well, no. Okay. So two small chicken. This is small, guys. Two small chicken fried steak with iced tea was 20. Well, with tip was $27.13. That's small. We took half of that home. And they have a really good menu yeah. of all kinds of different things. So that's really nice, Les. Real good, Leslie. Uh, Sharon says, I did receipts from places we went in England and in Ireland. In Ireland, I have to stop over there and see our people at home. Cynthia okay. said, it's a fun idea to include the receipt. Yeah. And Leslie said, thanks for the tip. That okay. was about what to order and what to have. All right. So you guys like that? I think I got, I'm going to start cutting out. What do you think? Tracing and cutting. You guys like that? One no. other quick tip. They had really good pecan pie, but we had already ate what we ate. We didn't have room for the pie. No, we didn't. So I got to do that when I go back next time. Okay. So we're going to start cut, tracing and cutting and putting her down. So, Lee, you can talk about the trip. How was the trip? Long. <laughs> oh, you got to tell them what happened. I'll, I'll tell them a little bit there as you're getting things cut there. But on our way back, of course, we have, it's like a bus. It's a big, really beautiful motorhome. I think we've showed pictures before of it. And, uh, of course, as we're coming, I decided to come up the U.S. Highway 281 north of San Antonio. I'm going to come up through Johnson City and all the way up and just keep going up that road. We're going to go all the way up and catch I-44 in Oklahoma. So I'm going for Wichita Falls. And so we're in a little town, probably 25, 30 miles south of Wichita Falls. There's hardly anybody around. And all of a sudden, I'm smelling it. We went past a big cow lot. And um, had had the smell that was just getting kind of strong. I thought, man, that place really stunk. And then all of a sudden, our smoke detector started going off. How many? Well, they all hooked together, so they're all going off. Five. So Five or six. We're in this little town. It has about 100 people. She pulls off quick. I'm driving. And I notice there is a little smoke, so I go outside to look, and we have... Uh, on the air conditioner compressor, and of course on a diesel pusher, that's in the back of the coach, uh, we had the high pressure hose blew a hole in it and was spraying the Freon, which has, the Freon has a little oil in it. And it was going all over the engine compartment and the engine's really hot. And so it's just smoking, it's, it's non-flammable, so it wasn't gonna like burn up or anything. And, uh, but Linda was scared, so she called 911. So they showed up. They have a pickup truck with a tank in the back. It's a volunteer fire department. There's four people, and they show up and they're trying to figure out what to do. So we killed the engine, and the one guy was pretty tall. He was able to reach in and help wipe some of the oil off. And they're looking like, man, you're going to have to get that fixed somewhere. You might have to go to Wichita Falls. Isn't there somewhere up there? And they just keep apart. talking, yeah, and the one guy says, this is really a neat looking vehicle. How much does this thing cost you? <laughs> and this is the fireman, so Linda's kind of freaking out because you blew a hose, and they're all interested in what it is we're driving and all that, but. They want to know, well, they want to know if I, I, they take, if I, we would take a thousand dollars for it. <laughs> <laughs> And no, that don't quite cover it. Then uh, one guy that tried to figure out what the what the liquid is. Yep, yep. Well, and and uh, we were really thankful though for what they did, and we were able to wipe most of it up. And it was getting cold, and we really didn't need the air conditioner anymore. But the one and, guy. Uh, well, we kind of thought that possibly, you know, because cold air had started to come in when that cold front was coming through, and we're heading the wrong direction. We're going north. So we figure we aren't even going to put it on warm because we don't want to do anything that's going to change anything in the engine. So by the time we get home, it's 37 degrees. You missed something, though. The one guy, he, they're trying to figure out what the liquid is. The mechanic, who's a, he's a diesel mechanic, he licks it. And he goes, it ain't antifreeze. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of like, no, it's not. It's coming off the air conditioner compressor. I know yeah. what it is, but... Yeah. Anyway, well, we made it home, but oh. we did stop and give them a donation to the volunteer uh, fire volunteer department. Fire department. Yes, and they did. really didn't want to take it. And I told them you need to. We give them a couple hundred dollars because we really appreciated it that they come and yep. looked after us. So I am going to give you guys a not to interrupt Lee, but I'm going to give you a little quick tr 
quick. Helen's getting hungry because she's. <laughs> she's food. I'm going to give you a little quick tip. So this is a little hard to see. Some of you know my my little saying, but I want this template this side up. Okay. If you notice, I'm not putting them back to back because I need them this uh, particular direction. So what you do, if you have a one-way pattern or a direction you need it to go and it's, or it's too dark, you put it on top of the pattern. You slide it off, slide it under, and then flip the paper. So it's so called a call slide, it. slide, flip. I'm going to do it again. So this is the direction I want it to be. This is where I want it. I slide it off slide it under and flip it over. It's called the slide, slide, flip. And then you can trace it and it'll be the right direction you need it. And Leslie did want you to repeat what borders are you using? Okay, I am using Madison Avenue, 1A, 1B, 3A, 3B. And then I'm using Cascade Trails, 2A, 2B, 1A and 1B. Okay, those are the main borders and fun borders that I'm using. And then I'll tell you, whoop, I'll tell you the other ones here in a minute. Let me get these traced. And also, as I said earlier, uh, when Linda gets it all done and posted, at, uh, at, it won't be long, but it'll be after we're done tonight. She'll usually include kind of a quick summary of what the templates were she used or if there's any certain things that she used, a certain kind of scissors or Yeah, I usually things. put everything everything that I use or and where I got it, it will be on the it'll be on the the site like the Kiwi Lane site. And it will also be on um, the community on my um, my my page. So if you are not friends with me yet on the Kiwi Lane uh, community, just um, just, just yeah, just yeah, just there. ask to friend me on there, and we can do that. So yeah, and all these very very creative ideas that are just really out there—they're just awesome. Most of those ideas come from me. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I'm glad you're acknowledging. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Though I have to give him kudos though, because he comes up. I have not a creative bone in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, he does come up and he'll he'll say so what have you got going on and he'll look at it and he'll say mm, you sure you want to do that and i'll look at him like really are you questioning me and he said well are you sure and then he'll get me thinking like maybe i don't want that there so he's he's funny he is I don't know so what you call some of the funny. things, but I do bring him some ideas sometimes. Yeah, he's funny. So what I think I'm going to do, though, and I'm going to take this one. Gail said she's going to use the slip. Slide, slide, flip? Yeah, mantra for years. Slip it off, slide it under, flip it over. <laughs> I had no idea anybody else was doing the same thing or close. Yeah. yeah, that's always been part of Linda's thing. It's her yep. slide, slide, flip. She's uh, slide, slide, and flip. Yep, yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you something else here, though, too, because I'm actually going to put both of these pieces on. So what I'm going to do, well, I better do them separate. I was going to say I make them all one piece, or do I want to do that? Nah, I better not, just to make sure. Just to make keep sure, simple. keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. yeah, keep it linear. There you go, like an engineer would say. Yep, better Stay keep it simple. Here. Well, I wonder if I could. Let's see. Linda Brock said, you guys are too cute. Okay, so this is what I want if I did that. They probably always thought that until you showed them my picture earlier now. Hang on, let me try. Let me try. Okay, so this <laughs> is what I want. Then I can do it all in one shot. Okay, so slide, slide. I want to really flip like and drop. <laughs> flip that, and drop. Is that a new technique? Yeah, flip and drop. Okay, throw it on slide, the floor. Check it up. Slide, See what you can do. flip. Yeah, because I want it all one piece. So we'll just do it that way. Leslie I don't wants to, cut to know one. what other places did we eat? Oh, okay, so we ate at Goofy's. That was. 
is that Canyon Lake, I guess? Yeah. Kind of close to Canyon Lake. There was a couple of little towns right there together. And uh, there's a little cafe in that one. I don't know. I'm sure it has a name. It looks like an old empty building, but you go inside and there's maybe a dozen tables. And that's where we went for breakfast. It'd been there for it years. Um, I mean, it was like from the 50s, wasn't it? It was there. Oh, I think it's older than that. The building may be at least 100 years old. But we did go to Black's Barbecue uh, in New Braunfels also. That was good. And we had, <laughs> I had a little bit of the wet brisket. To call it. it has a little more fat in it that was really good and i had the turkey there also that was really good oh i brought thanksgiving home i went to honey baked ham you got me a ham yeah we don't yeah. have honey baked ham right here i mean iowa we have probably more pigs than we do people we're one of the number one pork raising states and we don't have a honey baked ham facility but we do have the amanda colonies close by and so we can get good ham local, but uh, so we ate there and um, I can't remember the name. There was a local Mexican restaurant we ate at right there in Canyon Lake. That was really good. And then we ate at the German place up in oh, Fredericksburg. Yeah, what was the name? Uh, I can't pronounce it, but it was a German place. It was awesome. Yeah, I had the schnitzel and, and all that. We went up and the red uh, cabbage. We, we visited one afternoon and uh, Fredericksburg had a good time. We just touched a little bit because sometimes you don't want to do too much. You want to be impressed enough so that you want to go back. Oh, we want to so go back. We definitely want to go back and maybe one of those times. I really like it down by San Antonio, but I really should try to go up to Fredericksburg. Some beautiful RV parks there, places to camp. Uh, Johnson City was really neat. Um, all those towns up through on 281 I thought were really nice. Okay. All right, did you girls see that? So those are the two templates together and I'm just made it one. Do you guys see that? Can you lay them on top and just show them one? It's kind of like there. The, see that? Because I want it that same distance anyway. Just saves making a mistake doing the glue. Well, also <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it saves it that I don't have to do two pieces. See that? I'm gonna make it all one anyway. I was not gonna use two different colors. Okay. You got that brown piece right side up? The other one is it? No, because it's going to go the other way. Okay, so okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so this one flip, slide, slide, or slide, no. slide, flip. Okay, so slide, <laughs> slide. I'm going to see if it'll fit. Woohoo! It fits. Let's see what's saying if it fits, it ships. Yep, just make sure you got it bumped together. Okay, so this one actually, I could use this because that is that piece. I don't have to cut that one. Look at there. Yeah, one cut. I'm shedding. I just saw one of my hairs. That's not good. I'm losing my hair. Helen says, she said, I will say night night as I'm very tired. Everyone Aww. stay safe. You too, Helen. We really appreciate you joining yes. us. Yes. Uh, Good night. Take care of Ireland for us until we get the opportunity to get over there to see you in yes. person. Uh, night, we're looking dear. forward to that day. We'll take you out and we'll have some good bangers and mash. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that one is done. Look at that, how easy that is just doing them together. You Blue only got Bonnet one. Cafe in Marble Falls. We went through Marble Falls and I saw Blue Bonnet Cafe and it did look really good. And it did say they had really the. Uh, the pecan pie was a special the day we went by, and I'm trying, there was something else on the, but that looked really good. Marble Falls was a really neat town. Oh, we did, I got a Whataburger. Lee didn't get it, but I got one. Yeah, I don't get anything. And oh, and we did, we met up with our friends at, um, what's it called? Where we met them? Texas. No, <laughs> what's the big beaver thing? Oh, Bucky's. Bucky's. Yeah. Never, I've never been inside of a Bucky's. So That's my second time. That was really good. But Linda Brock says they have a possible hurricane coming our way. Is they're, it? Are you way, that Edda? Way. Is that the Edda? Is it now coming you guys this way? Oh, uh, not good. This, I thought this was a new one. Not good. Actually, I work for Alliant Energy, and we have almost 200 of our people are down in Oklahoma City right now helping them restore power. That one? After the recent ice storm. They actually went to uh, uh, Mississippi for Mississippi Power down in Gulfport, 
And they had it pretty well under control after Hurricane Zeta came in. And uh, yeah, this is Etta. And uh, we uh, got help get them up, but then we sent people on up then to Oklahoma City. They are really got hit hard in Oklahoma City. Not good. So keep those people in your prayers for sure. Not good. Okay, so this is Cascade Trails. And this is the one that um, is going to interlock. I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other so that um, because it's got to intertwine. And Thank you, Helen. And we will come for a visit. I don't say things unless I mean to go. I love to go to Europe. But we're going to have to wait to get past this a little bit. So I have one of my employees, his family's from the Isle of Man right there. Okay. Uh, and his father just turned really sick and passed away recently. And he was able, he was able to get a, a special travel permit to come back over because they have no COVID cases there. And part of it is they're very controlling of who they allow on the little island of Man there. And of course, that's where I think the Bee Gees might have came from that island, if I remember right. So, anyway. Oh, Helen, you'll have to look. I've got another. Um... Another little thing I'm going to show you guys later. So you have to check out my website and. Uh, yeah, watch the video tomorrow or something. Yeah, I've got another little little fun tip I'm going to show you here at the end. And Minetta Smith says she loves buffies, best pies. We actually had some of their sandwiches and yeah. I'll say those were mighty fine. I, I had, had the brisket. And I had a turkey sandwich. We just wanted something light and it was really good. And Sherry Gill says she loves the blue floral with the background paper. It really matches nice. Oh, thank you. Hobby Lobby. I didn't realize that was her background paper. When I saw it laying there earlier. I thought it was looked like a piece of wood. So Yep. This is by the sea, and then the rest of it all come from Hobby Lobby. I just was like I said, like I was Disney by the sea. No. You're being silly again, aren't you? <laughs> Keep you focused. <clears throat> focus. Keep you focused. Keep me focused. Yeah. Well, Gail says she has family that lives north of San Antonio. They're listing off a bunch of the places I want to go when I get to visit. Now I'm itching to take a trip. <laughs> it was. It was. It really was a lot beautiful. of fun. And uh, we went through. We stayed in Ponca City. No, wait, 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 wait. Where was the place where we got all that rain? Helen's gonna watch it tomorrow so get okay. some good rest Helen. yes you do that so we went up 281 as i told you was our route so when we come to i-20 which would be west of uh fort worth there's a little area a little town called santos right there and there's two truck stops on the south side one truck stop on the north side of the interstate we fueled up at the one on the south side closest to the interstate but there's uh oh, it's called uh um calf coffee creek campground it's about a half a mile north the interstate beautiful little campground but uh, it'd been nice no rain while we were gone all that time beautiful beautiful weather uh but that night decided to rain about two or three inches and we're in a really nice lot um concrete or no it's gravel if i remember right but there was some concrete by where we had all our hoses and stuff and of course the there was some fire ants not too far away so all that water kind of washed them over in the middle so they're trying to go for high yes. ground so they get on our hoses yes. Linda went out to tear it down the next morning she had on crocs or like sandals and of course a couple of them fire ants decided her foot looked a lot drier so they got on top yes yeah, decided so to start chewing her way for so guess for, who has fire ant scars on their feet not, me not a lot of them but they're pretty pretty wicked looking on the one me foot, so i have fire that's ant always scars. Fun. yeah it's not fun so laura baker uh Gaiman wants to know where did you buy the background paper the the wood the wood yeah. yes the wood is called by the sea i believe it's echo park i got it at our scrapbook store but um you can get it uh probably the, anywhere that anywhere has that has the by the sea um it sells park, echo yeah. park yeah anyone that sells echo park and the other pages uh she picked up 
Hobby Lobby. Through Hobby Lobby. Yeah, down it was just in New mix Broncos. and match. Well, you, I, I, yeah, it's just mix and match paper. It's really weird. So you've been to a couple of different Hobby Lobbies. Do you see a lot of difference in like the paper that you see available at this Hobby Lobby versus Actually, another? Actually, no. Actually, no. They're all they're, pretty they're, standard. They're all pretty standard. I, I will have to say that there's not a lot of difference. Um, Leslie said, fire ants are horrible. Amen. Oh, yeah. Unless you're an aardvark and you eat ants. <laughs> I don't even know. Do they eat fire ants? Well, I'm sure they do. They're an ant. Ugh. Yeah, it was not pleasant. Oh, and then besides that, I had to walk in water that was above my ankles to tear the coach down. I told Lee to stay in because he's diabetic and I didn't want anything getting in his feet. So I did all the tear down and hooking the toe up and all that. So yeah, not pleasant. Not pleasant. So how about a status of it? Where are we on our layout here? Things Where are we together? at on our layout? We are doing wonderful. Um, so at what point do you need to take and kind of start laying some of your pictures on to kind of get an idea? Of I've already done the pictures. I'm just trying to get the, I might have made a boo-boo. I don't know yet. We'll see. You made a boo-boo? Uh, I don't while know. While this is being filmed? I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I haven't made up my mind what I want to do the fruit jar out of. I don't know. I might cut it out of this and see. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. Got some glitter on it. I was working with glitter paper and uh, glitter kind of goes everywhere. I know Susan does not like glitter. It's not one of her friends at all. So, so I have a question. Are you guys getting your fall decorations down now and you're putting your Christmas decorations up? We uh, didn't do much for fall. We don't have any trees for the leaves to turn colors so we're kind of just a couple done. of my employees on a call I was on today said they were putting their Christmas decorations up since we're in the mid 70s today and you know not much wind um that was really really good Linda said I just did that you did yeah I saw um Kelly, Kelly, she put three Christmas trees up. Three. Sharon McDonald says, no, I'm putting up Thanksgiving. Yeah. We don't know what we're doing yet for Thanksgiving. Our granddaughter Santa has a birthday. This weekend, fall goes down. Christmas will go up next weekend. <laughs> our granddaughter has a birthday right around Thanksgiving. Our one, our little jelly bean. So... We don't know yet if we're going Dawn up there. Says they took advantage of the warm weather. So, yes, they put up their Christmas decorations. Well, while Linda's cutting that out, uh, one of my employees over in Wisconsin was telling me that, you know, we just had Halloween here recently. And uh, he told a story. And it really kind of moved everybody on the call. You know, with the COVID, people are really careful in what they're trying to do. And their next door neighbors, they had had... Uh, a sign that said that they weren't going to be participating that year. Um, and they had uh, like a basket out with some candy in it and said that, you know, you could take some, but our son got diagnosed with cancer. We don't want to take the chance of getting him exposed to COVID. But all the local kids, as they were coming by and doing their trick or treating, um, they were all kind of moved by it. So most of them took their candy and dumped it out and put it I there. I saw that. that and was so there was like, two bushel baskets of candy at this little boy's house and he was really thankful for it Aww. so it just shows you know sometimes we got to look at there's so many things going on in the world today especially in the U.S. of friction and people feeling ill feelings towards one another and this was just really a, a good segment my teen had of you know all I gotta do is sometimes is look at young children and you can get a life lesson from it so I thought that was really yeah, uh, really good so that's awesome that's awesome. Awesome. Linda awesome. says, well, I don't have Christmas up yet. We took down the fall, though. And Ginny said, we're leaving up the fall through Thanksgiving. Our oldest is a freshman in college and asked if we could put up Christmas when he is home. Aww. That'll be nice. 
And Leslie says, no Christmas till after Thanksgiving. Woodland says, we always decorate for Christmas, Thanksgiving weekend. So you'll have a couple of weeks to enjoy the fall stuff. Yeah. We're not sure. Most people I've talked to, they're kind of looking forward to 2020, getting over and moving on to 2021. I always yeah. try and enjoy the moment I'm in, but this year has had some really weird quirks to it, so. Yeah, we may not have too good of a 21 either. Just never know. Yeah, I know, Tammy. She says, I can't watch right now, but wanted to say hello and tell your husband I never got that credit card number. So <laughs> order supplies. <laughs> Catch you on the repeat. Oh, well, we appreciate good. that, Tammy. Feel free to watch it tomorrow or sometime. Yeah. I don't know how long they stay posted, but there's going to be some uh, things are going to involve some punches here after a bit. Yeah, I, I got a little trick I want to show you guys here in a little bit. I'm going to something a little different. This ain't going to take too long to put this in together. Uh, this is this is going to be real quick and lots of fun. And so I think you guys are going to. So you're working on this is the the little leaves. Yeah, and, this uh, is the little leaves. I'm going to do this one out of the silver. Because I'm going to do silver on top of the, the uh, mason jar. Linda Brock says, I'm going to be a first-time grandma <gasps> in March. Congratulations! Do they know yet what it is, or are they going to find out? We're a six-time <laughs> grandparent. Yeah, once they figure out how that works, they don't stop. They just keep it going, just to let you know. It's awesome. 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 Yeah. Tammy said oh, she, she'll watch it later, but she'll miss the banter. Well, there might be some of it in there. We'll save a little bit of it for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Bridget said, I took out the artificial tree, and my mom gave me an idea to decorate it with silk sunflowers to bridge Halloween to Thanksgiving. Oh, what a good idea. Linda said it's going to be a boy. Congratulations. Grandsons are fabulous. Just so are fabulous. Granddaughters. Oh, granddaughters are too. But as long as they're healthy and yeah. Grandsons are fabulous. Our Those first was a grandson. Family tradition. We used to sing the Hank Jr. Don't break out in song, please. Please don't. Please don't. I know you're itching. Uh oh. This is kind of cute, guys. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. I got to get my fruit jar lid. I got to figure out. Oh, I got to put the blue in the deer. That's what I'm missing. Mm -hmm -hmm. Little trick. Leslie man. said, being a grandma is the best. Oh, it is. I said, thank you. So have you figured out if you're going to be a grandma, you're going to be a nana, what you want to be called? I personally, I chose nana because I said grandma sounded too old. Not awful. That sounded vain, didn't it? But I like being nana. And you think being called a nana sounds young? I'm not going to respond with that. I'm really not. Linda says, Granny. Gr oh, I like that. It's very Southern. Very Southern. I don't know if I should have went down further on that. Eh. I got to make a bigger one. Oops. Don't like that. Got to make it bigger. She's working on the lid of her mason jar. Yeah. We're going to make it a lot bigger. I mean, if I drew the lines on there, it would look okay, but it's got to be just a little bigger. I may make it great. I was thinking it was brown paper, but it's actually... It's silver. Silver on the back side. Yes, it is. I'll use my um, embossing tool to give it the lines. Manetta Smith says, Mimi here. Oh, that's cute too. 
Lisa says, we have four grandsons, well, that's 25, 19, 18, and one and a half. Wow. Okay. One more to cut out, I think. And I think we got it. Now we can start inking. So we got three that are reasonably close together. And then you have one that's a lot younger. So they can start having some more. So there could be some for the one and a half year old to play with, right? <laughs> I tell you, we haven't seen our little Everly since, since September. September. And we talked to our son. And he said she's real close to rolling over. And she's Oops. got teeth coming in, I believe now. Right? Really? Oh, he well, said they're going to start. Yeah. They're going to start her on some solids. So that's got to be close. Now Lisa says, "I wish." Yeah, we're well, going. We'll, we'll bless you. With you. <laughs> this is the name of this paper. Oh, this is the paper studio. I guess I could look on the back to see where it's from. The paper studio. That's Paper Studio. Paper Studio. But you got a hobby. It's all, day. yeah, it's all Paper Studio, girls. Yeah. Except your backgrounds. So. Except for the background. Yeah, it's all Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so there you go. I should have just looked on the back. I'm not used to doing it. That'd be a little too easy, wouldn't That'd it? That'd be too easy. So there you go. And that was actually a test. I knew it was there, but I'm just like, <laughs> look for it. You are so fun. Teresa says she has 13 grandchildren. Holy cow. We'll, How many we'll, kids do you have? We'll take a pause there and we'll all bow down to Teresa. Yeah. 13 grandchildren. Kudos. How many kids do you have? That's what I got to know. Lisa said, you two are adorable, so I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, it's only a couple hours worth. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to know, how many kids do you have to have 13 grandkids? That's kind of a personal question. Isn't it? Yes, it's a personal question, and I got to know. How many kids? Did she respond you just, you're cutting with scissors. You concentrate on you, you're doing. Oh, yeah. Well, I got to know They this. don't want to watch me do a tourniquet on your arm. Or have to mm, get I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She has six kids. Six. So that's about two apiece. That's pretty good. Yeah. Each, we have only two children. They each have three. three. So if each of hers had three, she'd have 18 grandkids. Holy cow. I keep thinking of all the money I have to give my little, little one to put in the piggy bank. Oh, that's a lot of coins. <laughs> that's what I keep thinking. <laughs> it won't be long. You're going to have more coins than our grandkids than the government has. So. Mm, something like that. Okay. I think I got it all out. Now I can ink. I think it ink. All righty. And Ginny Lindemann said, my mom had three kids and 12 grandkids. We each had four. <sighs> That's a lot. All right, here we go. Well, if each of those four had four. Using distressed 16. ink vintage photo. Then we get to great grandkids. Each of those 16 have four. That gets you to a big number, Linda. Okay, for those of you who didn't see this, I took the Madison Avenue 3A and 1A, and I put them together because I wanted the same paper. The long flat side. Yep, and I just put them together and then I cut them out so they're all one piece. That's why it looks like that, okay? And you ink the edges so it kind yep. of covers up the cut marks and that. Yep, and I am doing the edges because there's a lot of white on this. And by the way, this is a Tim Holtz um, dauber. Love it because I can interchange the foam edges. Is I have the burlap one. It's it's paper burlap. It's from Paper Studio. I read the back of the paper. So, and then see, I can move this anywhere I want to. This is Cascade Trails. 
what is it, 1A and 1B? Yep. No, 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 no. 3A and 3B. 3A and 3B, yes. This is 1A and 1B from Cascade Trails. And then this paper is also from Paper Studio. Oop, now that's not good. I don't, that one I'm trimming. That was a bad cut right there. Bad cut or bad dobbin? Bad cut. Some of it I can live with, and some of it I just gotta trim. When there's a little bit of a edge on there, Some of it I can tolerate, but some of it I can't. Leslie said, that's a great idea. I never would have thought of it. Oh, good. I gave you something new to do. Awesome. So the last time I was on, I showed you how to use embossing folders and stencils. I know one gal, she texted me and showed me her layout. She used the stencils on her Halloween one. So any of you guys, did you use any of the embossing folders or stencils too on your layouts? i tell you what, I love to do some embossing folders on my little pieces and stuff. Love that texture and so love anything that kind of makes it look 3D. I actually got, I haven't used, I almost used it on this one, but I already got the wood paper, but I have a 3D wood embossing folder and I'm just dying to try. I'm gonna use that, I think possibly on my next, my next crafting, I got an idea with it. So you guys will just have to tune in and see what I do. We've got a lot of derecho pictures. There's another one of them little bitty things. I turned my scissors too quick. Get a little snake. But we finally got everything all cleaned up in the front yard. The backyard, yeah, it's okay, but we got a little bit of. Maria wants work to know is the video still available where you use the embossing folders? It should be. It sh if you go back to, um, if you can get on the kiwilane.com and you look at the calendar where it says events, if you go back to October and look where I was live at. On that, you and can, it would have been early October, like yeah. the sixth or whatever yep. that Friday night was. It was close to that. Yep, you can get to it right there. So, and then Bridge wants to know: Do you have a video of the embossing? I would love to learn the tools and techniques. Um, the video, yeah. If you go back to the the last craft in that I did, and yeah, there's it'll show you on there. Linda is looking to do some instructional videos coming up that will be yeah. kind of outside of this and there will be some of that, but feel free Bridget, uh, private message Linda or whatever, and she can definitely go through and show, show you and give you a little more uh, in depth things, yeah. some of the things she's done. We so. can FaceTime too, not a problem. She said, thanks. And Maria said, thank you. So Glad, glad, glad. So. Sometimes I've seen Linda actually mix the two together, get into some pretty. Oh yeah, you can put ink in your embossing folders and then put it in. Like the last layout that I did with the craft in and stuff, it there was only one sheet of printed paper. All the rest was cardstock. So you get your uh, designs from your embossing folder. And if, if you want, I didn't do it on that one, but you can put ink in your embossing folder and that'll give you another dimension. And it's just, it's just so nice to be able to use up your cardstock. And especially like, like I might have a paper pack that I've used, like say a Cartabella paper pack. And I've got one sheet that I just dearly love and I don't know what to do with it, but I got all this cardstock. So I'll pull out my embossing folders and stencils and I can use all that and make the layout. You still using that favorite piece of paper that I just have left and it looks really good. Now this is a little tricky, but you want to ink it because it does give it a little, little more something, something. 
even this little silver it gives it a little antique look. The lid for the mason jar? Yep. Okay, and now that I'm done shedding. Okay, I think we can glue down. Get your pages lined back up. All right. Let's see what we can do here. On your Cricut mat, where it's got the lines so you can keep. Oh, I love my new Cricut mat. That was my birthday present to me. All right. Usually I use my ATG, but when we're doing this, we'll just use a little bitty one. Yeah, see? Paper Studio. 69 cents a sheet. That's pretty cheap. Now let's see if I can get this lined up where I want it. You're in love with your two pages. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, except for I'm too high. I know I'm too high. There we go. Okay, there's that one. Where are we at in time? Oh, we're only seven o'clock. Now look at there. 704 to be exact. Oh, he's gonna get on me. Okay, there's that one. I bought extra paper because I'm going to do more, I got more pictures but that go with this. Okay, we're all lined up. You guys can still see this. I didn't move it out of focus, I hope. Let me get rid of this. Brock, so do you scrapbook every day? Do I scrapbook every day? Oh, I wish I did, but I don't. Life you're, gets in the way. Pretty, pretty yeah, close, pretty so close to every day. day in here. A lot of times it's just looking and getting ideas or trying some little thing, maybe not doing a full page layout. Yeah. But like for tonight, she kind of, I'll say, kind of tinkered around probably for a few days beforehand, just well, what you want to do. And I, I will, I will um, do cards or other stuff too. So. Not quite a little. I really do like this wood paper though, Rose. I'm like you. Really do like it. There we go. Okay, this is really pretty. Okay, there's that one. Now we got to do these. Okay. Which template is that? This is Cascade Trails. 3A and 3B? Nope. 1A and 1B. Cascade Trails, I, uh, it's one of my favorite on borders. Oh, they're all my favorite. I can't pick one over another, to be honest with you. I love all the templates. I'm so excited for the new releases, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see if we can get these down. Well, let's just do one at a time, right? You made a whole one? Nope. I got to make sure I got them in the right direction. Nope. <sighs> I'm using a Gina K tape runner and it's a repositionable, which is really nice for something like this. Like I said, usually I use my ATG gun and it's permanent. And when it goes down, it goes down and will not come back up. Okay. It's just right. I gotta move this a little bit. There we go. There we go. Make sure that'll fit there. 
Yes, it will. One little bit. Okay, girls, you're awful quiet, or Lee's not reading them. Yeah, I'm watching what you're doing. <laughs> Gwendolyn Jackson said, did they delay the release for club members today? Yes, it, you're going to have to um, wait till Susan announces. It's going to be a little bit. It got the boat. It got delayed on the boat. Um, oh, the release this next month? Okay. The winter release. Yep. I'm having a hard time getting this. Just the way I want it. Shirley Boykin said, Linda, I have gotten all the new releases in or when they think it will be, they said today, but I only saw one, so we'll wait till they all come in. I didn't get an email. Is something coming in yet? Did you get, have they gotten all the new releases in? They, I haven't seen any emails come in yet, unless I missed something. Okay, I think I'm going to map this. But you were busy to do too. Yeah, I might have missed it, but I didn't see anything. Hmm. You have to angle it. No, I got another sheet. I bought two sheets. I just wasn't very frugal when I did that. So, well, what I could do is corn. No, I better do it this way. Minetta said uh, it will be worth the wait. Yes, it will. And I see several little thumbs up going up. All right, let's get this down. And a heart. There we go. Oh, by the way, I did spray this with archival mist. If you guys have that, um, I highly recommend that. Especially you want to mat it on some paper so that it will won't fade. And it won't fade in the sunlight. Yep. You want to do that. Because otherwise it will fade and you won't be able to see it. So or you can take a picture of it. Yeah, or you can take a picture of it and print the picture. And print and the picture. Yep, you can do that. Well, oh, I put a new blade in my cutter today. Boy, does that make a difference. No, I have somewhere to slice my salami. <laughs> Touch it. Not. Touch it not, dear. Touch it not. Oh, that's better. Okay. So we'll get that stuck down. All righty. Getting close. All right. Where's our fruit jar? Now, I want to show you what I found for my fruit jar. See if you like this. Oh, it's so cute. It says, remember to keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. I'm going to put that right there. I got some glue. Linda, do you have your templates organized? Yes, I do. Her and 31. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also, what's the other? Um, you have some folders. I think was that close to your heart you got for that one lady. Okay. So how I have them organized? I have a thirty-one bag. I'll show you here in a second. Just don't let me forget. Okay. I might need that for that little other little piece. I better put this down first. Okay. That goes there. This goes there. That's by Tim Holtz, that little guy. Okay. It's just, it's an actual metal. It's a metal piece. You're supposed to put tank. ribbon through it, but I'm not putting ribbon through it. Actually, I got, we had a Tuesday morning here and because of COVID, it went out of business and I got a whole bunch of them. I think it was like six in a package, two bucks, two bucks. On the lid of your mason jar, are you going to do a little bit of your stitching on there with the? Uh, no, I'm going to use my embosser and I'm going to make little lines. Because it looks kind of blah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. So there we go. There's that. Okay. 
Now we got our little. And Linda Brock said no new email on the new release. Just yeah, yet. I didn't but, think there was. And we'll get back to answering about your templates organized. Yeah. We'll, we'll okay, so I did not use this paper. So do I use this? For this. Bridget said, same here. I love Tuesday mornings, and now I need to drive one and a half hours to the nearest one. I'm not even quite sure where our closest one is. Do you know? Uh, Coralville. There is one in Coralville? Mm -hmm. Which is yep. about 25 miles from here, 20 miles? Uh, 25 maybe to where the Tuesday morning it, is then. It takes about a half hour to get there. It's down by the mall is where it's at. But I, I don't think I've even been there. I don't like going down that corridor, to be honest with you. That would have been easier to done your slide, slide, flip, so you wouldn't have to. No, because I can see on the this The lines one. make me go kind of cross. You know, I you know. questioned this one. I really did. However. Linda Brock said there's clothes, too. Uh, I like Tuesday morning. I really did. But. Our Michaels is still closed, though. When the derecho hit, it tore the roof, blew the doors in, and they said it'd be like four months before it opened back up. It There isn't anybody in there working on it at all, to be honest with you. So I don't even know if it's going to open back up. Could be an insurance uh, problem discussion here. Yeah, we all we have now is Hobby Lobby and our Scrap, scrap Mania. That's all we have. So at least we got those. And I think uh, and we the have the UPS. Store. Oh well, yeah, they Joanne's. I don't know. Stuff, I haven't I been in there for a long time. But we have the UPS and FedEx. Yep. So. And we have a Waller World. They don't have anything in there anymore. Uh -huh. Oh, speaking of that, so we went. I went to Walmart in New Braunfels, Texas. I think that's where it was. I've never been into the most largest Walmart in my life. When they say Texas does it bigger and better, OMG, they do. They do it bigger and better in Texas for Most Walmart. Said, Thankfully, we still have them. Supply has been sketchy, but it's getting better. And I think Leslie's the one's down. Uh, Leslie, you're the one close to San Antonio, right? Or you had family in San Antonio. There was some connection there. Oh, hey guys, we forgot to ask you. So you guys see the, the, I don't know how many you like to be surprised or don't, but if you went out and saw the new um, release for this next month's kit club of the month, amazing. If you haven't seen it and you want to see it, or if you, don't, if you want to be surprised, awesome. So you had all kinds of Tuesday mornings down by San Antonio right there, honey, and you missed it. Mm. So we got to go back now. Well, well, I go back. Whoops. What are you cutting out? I'm um, cutting out an inside for that. And what is that? This is from Life is Golden. This is the journaling spot. Oh. I'm going to see if it'll work. It may not work, but we'll see. I'm going to try and eyeball it. Susie a little... Campo said, just joining. What paper line is that from? Oh, I can tell her now because I looked at the back of it. Okay, so all the paper is from Paper Studio. Got it at Hobby Lobby, except for the wood. The wood is um, down by the sea or by the sea in, I think it's Echo Park. So, yeah, I like that. Okay. Linda says, where can you see that at? So where can I see what? Where can, where can you see? Okay, hold on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get creative here. You're talking about the new kit that's what she's wanting oh the new kit um go on the kiwi lane site 
And if you go in like where it's shopping at, there's the, the um, PDF for all of the, you can get the idea books in the, in the shop. They're all right there. And so you can see it. It's okay. For those of you who don't want to know, close your ears. Go la 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 for about the next 10 seconds. Okay. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. There's a tea kettle, a rolling pin, and a, a banner. Those are the templates. And it's something to do with home. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, that's not so bad. That's pretty good. It's pretty good for eyeballing. Mm, need another little oopty do here. So back to the question about how do you store your templates? Oh, I'll show them. Just don't let me forget. Okay. Forget what? Oh, you're so bad. <laughs> you are so bad. I need another vacation, guys. Okay. So I got the deer. All right, so, oh, I gotta ink this one. Oops, I might have enough on here. And then I think I'm blowing. It might not be perfect, but it'll give me a journal spot. Okay, that's good for eyeballing. All right, so now, pictures. I had that one there. And for those that have just joined, we took a vacation here recently. We just got back about two weeks ago. We went down, we're just north of San Antonio in Texas. So we went to a place called Antlers and some chicken fried steak and some pictures of Linda and I and some of our good friends. And uh, is that the burger place, Goofy's? No, this is Richter's Antler Cafe. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to move it a little bit because I didn't want that point covered. You can always crop the pictures off a little too if you need to. Yeah. I'm probably getting hard on. Well, that's kind of cool. And then I'm going to put Texas chicken fried steak or chicken fried steak here. I've got wooden. Oh, okay. So chicken fried. So, something on a Saturday night. Ooh. Hope I got this. C H I C K E N. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. So before. What time? 7.30. Hey, we are doing this right along. Oh, and then I'm going to show you something else here I'm going to do. Leslie said, I like the deer. You like the deer? My one thing was, is the blue's kind of bleeding into the blue. Yeah, well, I'm going to gonna fix it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Give me a minute. Go put ice on it. Yes, I it am. Can, it can look at you. Yeah. Wait, you see what I got? Yeah, I'm going to fix him. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Because I need. So you got to mat it on a different. Color. I need some of this over there. Oops, wrong sheet. I already cut this one up. I'm gonna. There see. you go. Mm, might have to put it on the other side. But let's see if this works. My trusty, dusty mechanical pencil. Best pencil. So, how many of you are out there cropping today? You guys scrapbooking? I've actually, uh, when I was with my friend here, Misty, I don't know if you guys all heard. Uh, Misty and Jody, the ones we went out with, um, they're the ones that are responsible for us to get our, our Bella girl. They, she was a breeder of boxers 
and we had just lost our dog, our boxer dog. She was seven and she got lung cancer. And I was devastated. I mean, totally devastated. Yeah, she's only seven years old. So, um, sitting in the box over here. Yeah, we had her cremated. I, I just, I was just totally devastated. And um, so we got little Bella and her mom was Popeye and her dad was Zeus. So we call Jody and Misty, Aunt Misty and Uncle Jody and Bella knows exactly who they are. And she actually has a black boxer named Piper. And uh, we'll show you in a minute. Here. Yeah, she's about 80, 90 pounds, and Bella's only 50. So, yeah. Sharon uh, McDonald says, I am working on Halloween pages. Awesome. We have a day. Deb says, just watching you. <laughs> that's part of that relax and chill out that you're talking hey, about that's, earlier. That's what you gotta do. Gwendolyn wants to know, where did you get your cricket mat from? Cricket. Got it I mean, from did Cricket. You just ordered online. Yeah, or? I just ordered it right direct from Cricket. I did a lot of research, okay, guys, and I wanted a mat that was big enough to cover most of my table. My furniture came from um, scrapandcube.com. They have since gone out of business. State of Oregon. Yeah, State of Oregon. And it's kind of similar to the stamp and storage, what they're doing now. But it, um, anyway, I did a lot of research on mats and the best one, the largest one and the best one that I could find because of the videoing and stuff that I do was the Cricut. And the way that it, that it is, it's 36 inches by 24 inches. Okay. It actually 20, it's, it's bigger. It's like 26, but and it's like 30, 38 inches technically, but the measurements are 36 by 24. So it's scaled. Yes. Okay. So one side is dark gray with the lines. On the other side, it's white with black grids. So I can flip it either way I want. That makes sense. Um, so it works for me as far as using it for videoing. And also for me in seeing, I'm going to be 61 years old, old eyesight ain't as good as it used to be. So if I'm working with something dark, I've got the lighter side, which helps tremendously. If I'm working with something light, I got the dark side. The other thing I think it's neat, I know they can't quite see it, but there's an, I'll call it an A and B line. There's like a darker blue line that comes down mm -hmm. on this, so you can kind of at twelve inches. If you and want to really square something, you can get there as well as it has the angles for 30, 45, and sixty degrees. So if right. you were, which that's pretty much the standard that you would use in drafting, so you can use it for other things too. So we can go that way. But Sherry Gill, she's been working on Easter pictures from nineteen seventy. Ooh, good year. Okay. Let me do it on that side. And Dawn says, me, I'm working on June's kit. Jenny said, I am. I'm supposed to be on retreat this weekend with girlfriends. Was exposed to COVID at work and have been in quarantine. Oh, that sucks. Nikki has a Bella also, and hers is a black lab. Aww. Okay. Laura says, would love to be scrapbooking, but we sold our home, so we are packing to move. Uh-oh. Take pictures, huh? No, uh, Teresa is working on my grandson book because he's a senior. Okay. Sherry said in Kingsland, Texas, there is a resort called the Antlers. They have restored cabooses you can stay in, right. as well as cabins. I'll have to look it up, Sherry. Kingsland, I'll have to think of, take a look and see where that's at. Kristen says, I have a cricket mat too, and she loves it. Yeah. 
Deb says, we have a golden retriever puppy named Lucy. She's 13 weeks old. We lost our Daisy last year. Aww. And she was only eight years old. It's like losing one of your own family members. It really is. Gwendolyn says, uh, I like how big it is on the gray side. Bridget says, I'm following your sketch and putting my own twist on it. Awesome. Awesome. I'd we'll love to, to hear that. Linda to see what it looks like. Sharon says, I have a Bella who is a cat. Oh, and Sherry said, near Marble Falls. Okay, yeah, we drove up through there on US 281. Awesome. Okay. Now, do I want that deer there? On Lake LBJ. Yeah, I remember seeing all that. I do want that deer here. Oh, or do I want him over here? Um, oh, good. Our son just got home. Any deer? Oh, I can pull the door shut if I need to. Nikki said, I never thought about inking around my pictures. Mind blown. Well, the reason I do, if you notice, it kind of softens it a little bit. And it you don't have a, a lot bit. of different colors, but you use kind no, of that. No, because it, go ahead. The, the brown, I was just, I couldn't remember the name of it. If I mat it, it's going to just clutter it more, and I don't want to do that. So, and I'm not sure if I like that. I'm still going to rearrange here. Give me a minute. I'm not sure if I like everything yet where it's at. I'm still working. It's still a work in progress. I'm still not happy. And then we also talked about if you already got one food one that's similar. Maybe yeah, I'm only going to use the one food one, but I'm still moving stuff around. That's one thing nice about the play to create system. You can still move it. You can move it, move it, move it. Move it, move it, move it. Before everything is down. That's better. It was just too cluttery right there. Okay. I like that. That's good. Okay. I'm going to finish that. And then I'm going to show you a couple more things. And we are good to go. I'll finish up a few more little doodaddies. You know, guys, I love to do me some doodles. So I'll be doing that before I post it. Love me some doodles. You guys got the doodle sheets? Those are fun. Love me some doodle sheets. Perfect. Beautiful. A couple comments out there. Let's pin around. And Linda. I took my friend some of the Kiwi kits. You can buy them online. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you can buy the overstock of the Kiwi kits. And uh, so if you don't have them, and I took her some of them, and she was like Christmas. She was in heaven. Debbie so, wants to know what is a doodle sheet? Oh, okay. Let me show you. Let me get this deer down. I got to show you. The doodle sheet. Here we go. Oh, I just had it. Oh, there it is. These are the doodle sheets. They're called Quirky. Kiwi Lane made these last year, the year before. Year before. January. Came out January 19th. January 19th. Okay. If you guys are into bullet journaling or Bible journaling or just journaling like your calendars or whatever, these are fantastic. And you can use them to um, doodle up anywhere on your page or if you want to use them for titles or whatever. Fantastic. Our and grandkids really like them. Yeah. They scrapbook a little bit also. Yep. You can also use these edges. You see it here? You can use these to make borders with too. Just play them down, trace them. It's not just yeah. Just you can use you can use I like them for making cutouts. Banner things look like little like arrows. This. Yeah. 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 I don't know what they really so are. So these are quirky, is what they're called. 
Oops. You can see how they. Well, Debbie says, I can't wait there. to see what you do with them. So, yeah, I love them. Love them, love them. And then um, there's captions. Captions are actual journal templates. Let me pull those out. Okay, and then we've got captions. Like this was out of the the monthly kit, the golden life is golden. That's the the a journal template. But we also sell um, the captions packet, which has a whole bunch of journal templates. And it's fairly inexpensive. It's oh yeah, not, it's like thirteen. Yeah, around thirteen. So that looks like an Easter egg. It's actually journal. So you can just um, cut that. Uh, out. You can actually use this as a template too if you wanted to. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. I have to go up a little higher so you can see. And there's this one. And this is similar to the one that I used over here in the jar. And then there's this one. And this one. I love this one. I use this one a lot. So, so you can use that to yeah. put your lines and so forth. Yeah. Journaling yep. or however you can put you want it anywhere it. you want to. So if you're if you're like me and you don't like the way your handwriting is, this helps out a whole lot. It really does. Oh, I love the captions. So oh, we're getting close to getting this done. And then I can show you the other little thing I got for you tonight. And Gwendolyn said, and again, don't forget to remind uh, us how you organize oh, yes. your templates. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Stephanie says, so pretty. I'm snowed under in life with an upcoming baby shower, my first grandchild, and I watch lives to feel a bit connected. Oh, I'm glad and you joined Ken us. Says, Can you tell us again the name of the website you purchased your cricket mat from? Cricket.com. Cricket.com. Okay. Right from the company itself. Linda has a cricket, but she don't really use it a lot in scrapbooking at all. It's just well, it's been in the box. I got a cricket joy too. I'm I'm so bad now. I'm gonna take pop-ups, these little squares, and I'm gonna pop this up. Gives it a little bit of a third dimension. Yeah. And I may put a jewel in the middle of this too. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. See what I got going on. I've also got a couple of punches. I might punch a little flower in there too. Yeah, let's put it right there. See, it just kind of pops it up a little bit. Uh-oh, there we go. Yeah, we got this one. And this one. Goes right there. Okay, now. I'm gonna take my little glue. I use um, Gina K, it's called Connect Glue. It's good for embellishment. My son's home. I wonder if he got, got a deer. He's out there having his dad try something. He must've got something food wise. Okay, oop, guess I get my tweezers. Okay. I'm gonna put some Google eyes on that deer. One there. Took me forever to get used to tweezers that work backwards. Mm. Okay. We have a deer. No, Matt did not get a deer. Uh oh. He saw a couple, but he's waiting for the right one. Mm. It's not the right size, huh? Something like that. This this actually dries clear. So, okay, we have a deer with some Google eyes. There we go. Okay. Oh, this thing's pretty cool too. You guys want to see this? This is a little. Um, I don't know what you call it. It holds pens, scissors, whatever it is. This is by Tailored Expressions. They're a company here in um, Iowa. That's the coolest thing though. It just holds all your utensils. So another little thing. All right, guys.
other than fancy schmancying it up, that's done. And I'm going to, oh, I got to show you what I'm going to do here. I got to find the uh, letter. There are some punching or some little yes, secret I gotta stuff. Yes, I got to show you that too. But first, I'll just take this. Okay. So I've got these little wooden letters. I don't know if you've ever done this. Okay. Move this apart. I'm going to use Stormy Sky, my ink dauber. I'm going to take this wooden letter. And I'm going to make it blue. I'm just going to keep making it the color blue I want. about right okay so i'm going to put it along this ribbon it's going to say chicken fried okay chicken fried and then steak yep so that's going to be my title i'm going to use these little wooden letters so i'm going to do that sure wants to know is that called a tool caddy your holder? I don't know what they call it's it. It's kind of counterweighted, so it don't flip over. It looks like it tip over. But, it, but it'll hold any any kind of a tool, your scissors, anything. It's 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 the craziest thing I've ever seen. But tailored expressions makes it. Lisa Rogers said, "I have to leave." Okay. Uh, but thank you for doing this. Good night. You're and very welcome. Be sure to watch the rest of it and see how it finishes up. So anyway, I'm just going to do some other little doodles on there. But for the most part, that's it. You guys like that? You have those letters, Leslie? Awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to show you one thing else than a little trick that I did. You need to be on more, Debbie says. Aww. Well, thank you. All right. So these are the puppies. There's our Bella. But there's Bella, Piper, and that's their other dog, Shorty. So we got all the dogs together, and I'm going to do a layout. And this is one I was just kind of playing around with today. And I wanted to show you. These are the same templates, okay? This is Madison Avenue. All right. So we're going to put those like this. And I got this one. Little glitter. And I took this one of Madison Avenue. You see what I did? Looky here. This is a border punch. I punched it all along the edge, okay? This is the same one as the glitter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a solid, another color, and I'm gonna put it there like this. Off of there. So this is just going to have a little bit of brown, a little bit of the gold, a little bit of the leaf, and a little bit of the plaid. And then I'm going to have my girls. Debbie said just beautiful. And I'll put some pumpkins and some leaves and stuff on it. Janice says she loves that border punching. Yeah. Marie said that's beautiful. Okay. Very nice for Bridget. So see, take your border punches. Such a good idea. All Great your border punches. Too. Okay. This is just. You could so. take that red and put it underneath too, and it would show through on where the punch is, just to be like a background there too. So see, you could take any of your punches. This is the one I used. Any, any punches, colors. okay? So grab those old border punches out. Use them on the back side of, of your other one. Look here, look here, you could do this. Put that one there. Look at here, here's another look. Look at there. Get this removed. Move it out a little bit. Let's put this one here. Kimberly Dixon says beautiful. 
fingers aren't not very nimble today. Look at there. Look at the gold under there. Where's the leaf paper from? Oh, that is years old. I would say that's probably an old, old. Would it be Creative Memories? An old Creative Memories one, possibly. Love that look. Is there anything on the back? Of mm -mm, the no, of I looked. You but the look. reason I see it's an old Creative Memories one is because it's not a true 12 by 12. There's a little bit short. And I think this one is too, because it was a little short. So anyway. So that gives you a, another little tip, little trick you can do. Use those border punches. Um, get them out. Put them around your pictures. But these borders, I mean, gosh, look at the another dimension. So, oh, I wanted to show you one more thing I did. I've been working on. There's two more things. Two more things. Oh, yeah, yeah my, my, te my templates. I got to show you that. But I want to show storage, you. Storage, yeah. I won't let her forget. Mine. All right, let me do that. Okay. Oh. All right, some of you have seen this. It's a monster. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's quite bulky, but you got to realize I did a lot of vendoring and I have every template ever made. These are all close to my hard envelopes, okay? And I sort mine out. These are a la carte. I have one, two, three a la carte. These are monthly kits here. I sort accessories, all alphabetized, and they, you see they have A on them. And then it goes by, um, okay, those are all accessories. And then it goes by card borders and tiny borders either be TB or CB. And then it goes tiny accents. And I usually use a ruler wherever I pull one out at. And then it goes to the, uh, these were the medium borders. And then the ones that are odd size, like the um, rings, gadgets, lacy trims, they're in a little bit bigger ones. And then I do use the, the, um, single sleeves that Totally Tiffany has for the regular borders on the side. They're all alphabetized. And then the bigger ones, I have a few bigger envelopes that are by Sissix that I use for the, the bigger ones. And there's just a few of those, but that's kind of my system for right now. It's easy to pull them out. And they're just she labels them so you can see what's there that you can easily yep. see them. And basically, I went on the coach with us and carried out, and it's got all the templates of PB Lane. Yep. There, so she'll have another roll-on bag. She'll take them. I have some paper and some pictures. And I have a uh, big. It's called, it's a Samantha Brown bag. It's a piece of luggage that it fits in, and it zips up, and it has a handle and uh, wheels. So it's actually a piece of actual luggage that that thing fits in. And I can take it on a plane if I need to. So it's- I can't get Linda on the plane, yeah, but you can take well, a bag. It, it works. <laughs> well, you're really organized, Linda says. Well, I don't know about that. Linda but... says, thanks for sharing your ideas. Oh, you're welcome. So um, that pile right there of the eight and a half by 11 paper, there's um, a pad of paper, Christmas paper. You want to grab that for me? Maybe. <laughs> These are the cards I was working on in Texas. Um, this is mostly tiny holiday, tiny um, traditions, and it is washi tape and just uh, this sheet it said Merry Christmas stickers. And what I did is I just fussy cut it them all out. So, yep, just the bottom right under there. The, the, yeah, they're sliding off. So that's all I need. Oh, I got my stack of cards. I, don't know what cards just hold it. I just want this bottom piece right here. So all the paper is from this packet right here. It's called Winterberry. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I think it is... 
Mm, I don't know. It might be just the Michaels brand. I don't think it's Paper Studio. So, so anyway, this is what I've been working on. These are the Christmas ones. And as you can see, I did use my embossing embosser and made it look like the top of the Christmas ornament. In between there, Debbie wants to know who made the packets that you put them in. Oh, close to my heart. And, and then, then Sissix made the bigger ones. And then Tiffany, totally. Totally Tiffany. Tiffany for the, yep. And so this is another one. Oh, and I use Frolic and uh, Breezy for all of the uh, templates. So this is another Christmas card. And these are the little doodle marks that I like to do. So there's another Christmas card. Minetta, she and this says is another she one. arranges all hers by leaves are together, trees are together, different things. Yeah. That way she can keep track of where things are. Well, the only reason I don't do that is because when I vendor, people want to know what kit it's in. So I leave it in the way that it would be for selling. So, and then here's another one I did. And this is where I took the same border and just flipped it up. So it's the same one. Shirley says she really enjoyed tonight. Uh, thanks for sharing some. You're very tips. welcome. And this is the last one. And I took some Christmas twine and wrapped it on. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. I hope you guys have had a great night. We got 10 minutes to eight. So we're a little bit ahead of time. I've been, been uh, great having you and enjoyed. But she'll so, finish this up and get it yep, all blamed up. I'll get it up. posted and post it and list out all the things she does and the templates she used yep. and all those things for you guys. And as always, you can reach out to Linda and private yep. message her. You got any questions or anything? And uh, follow me on the Kiwi Lane community. Just ask to friend me on there and we'll keep in touch. Or like Lee said, PM me on Facebook too. Would love to answer any questions you've got. And, uh, and if you're not set up with a creative partner or anything, Yep. Feel free to reach out. Yep. All right, guys. Been awesome. Thank you so much. And let Susan and Amy how, know how you liked it. We love you guys. Talk to you later. Have a good night.